Well, welcome, Squires. We just finished up our regional qualifier here for, uh, of course, Rage. And we got our beautiful Blue Eyes Playmat here. We got ourselves Mr. Kevin. He got second place at the event. How you doing today, man? Pretty good, pretty good. Hell yeah, man. What did you play today? I played Snake Eyes as up here. I didn't play any of the other engines, like Fire King or... Uh, okay, Kingsman. okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. What were your uh, matchups today? Played two Tempai, one Centurion, one Mirror Match, and one Voices Voice. I forget the last one. I think it was another Snake Eyes. So. Okay, okay. So two Snake Eyes. Okay, awesome, awesome. Well, any uh, any shout outs before we get into the profile at all? Shout out to Shoebox. Okay. Always helpful, always give me cards, and their prices are always low. Hell yeah. Shout out Scuffed, that's my sponsor. Hell yeah, man. They pay for my trips and stuff and stays, but they're super, they're super dope. Awesome, awesome. All right, man. Let's get let's get let's get into the profile oh, also, here. Show this guy. Yes, of my course. Coach. Yes, of course, Mr. Not, Jesse. I would <laughs> the not goat. be good at this game. If it wasn't for him. He actually put me on. Yes, he's, he's the he's goat. Player, he's the goat. All right. All righty. See what, see, yeah. See what you're playing here. Three witch. Yep. Oh, best second best start in the deck. You always want to see wanted, but this card's fucking cracked. It lets you play around like almost every hand trap. It's the best extender in your deck. Uh, two bricks. This card, so so busted, but if you open it, you just want to cry. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like the worst. One poplar because that one, one ash, self explanatory. Yep. Best, best one card uh, combos. And then two oak. I, I played the second oak because a lot of times when I was testing, I felt like the second oak came up for follow up and where I needed it to kill the opponent, and I just didn't have it. And it did come up today a couple times where it won me the game. So. Yeah, I just feel like for the grind game, it's probably yeah. better to just have that second one there. And then three maxi. Yes, of course. Maxi, the new Maxi. Yep. This card, honestly, I had never opened this card today. Crossed it out one time, that's about it. <laughs> Didn't get to see it. Didn't get to see it. Rip. And then three Ash. Gorgeous, Ash gorgeous, also. yeah. One zero. <laughs> and then, uh, this was the best hand trap today by far, though. Three Oh, drills. okay, the drools, I think okay. Not a lot of people expected this to be that good, but this card into this deck is literally like a turn skip. It's so absurd. Really good card. The one nib, the one. Ghost Warrior and the one available. Okay. The reason I only played one of each is because I played three Impulse. And these are dead when I activate these. Yep. So I didn't really want to see these too much. I wanted them more as cross off targets, and if they came up, they'd come up, right? Makes sense. Uh, and then I played three in Perm. Second best hand trap this format. Of best course. one this. This one's cracked. Yes, I yeah. I can't believe they printed a card like this. This card should not come up. Yeah, yeah. Impulse is, impulse is nuts. Uh, then I played one Call by. And three cross out. So while, while I was testing with my friend, he told me to cut one because he said he saw two too much. Yeah, and, and I agree. And like my last game, I got, I literally lost because I draw, I drew two back to back. Oh no! If it was something else, I think I cut a little one. Ah, uh, rough. Yes, yeah, so But how to how to perform overall was a pretty pretty solid overall. When, though. when I saw it, I won the game most of the time. Hell yeah! Going first. Uh, the one temple and then the one OSS. Um, uh, that's. Some people are playing this out too. I think it's just one is correct. You recycle it like consistently, like all the time. Yeah, I think I think one is I think one is more correct for sure. And then the three wanted best start in your deck. You get drilled though. Sometimes you want to kill yourself. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. yeah, such as sometimes. <laughs> and then this card is broken. I don't know why this exists either. Do deception. And then this recycles. They, or no, this recycles itself by sending this. Like, um, yeah, you, you don't need to play more than one. Yeah, how was the Azamina stuff for you today? Pretty good. Absurd. Plays lets you play around literally every single hand trap. And then uh, three bonfire. Honestly, I was thinking about cutting this to two, but then my friend convinced me last minute to play the third one. This card is kind of I don't know mediocre at best. It plays into droll. It it's does. It's not a good yes. starter. Yeah. And as an extender, a lot of the times it, it really does nothing. Yeah. Because you don't have a second ash bonfire going. Your turn three yep. really doesn't search you anything. That's true, yeah. And then the one angel, because I play the round. Yep. Just basically draw bonfire and poplar. You want to shoot yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, oh, oh, also, I opened this card like a hundred times today. Oh I my god. I pitched it off witch like every time. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh my god. Uh, this is the spice. Not really spice. I don't know. Who, were you on it? Okay. I was on it. I never made it once. You don't need it. So today I played against, uh, what's his name? Zach? He. Shifter, Pirelia, and um, he, he double maxied me. Oh, okay. I, I activated Bonfire, Search Ash, made this, and he couldn't kill me. And on my turn, I proceeded <laughs> to kill him. It was crazy. Oh my god. And then, I, think it's, I think it's a good card. I yeah. think it's a good card. Like. And then the one Hope Harbinger. 
Oh, four Harbinger. Okay. This this is really good into Tempai. Um, and if they're bad, they don't know. They yeah. Swing, they swing into something else. You activate this. And then yes. Yeah. And then misses yeah, timing. yeah. It does matter that uh, yeah. that effect actually. Didn't come up today. But. Uh, then we have this. This is just for the Azumina combo. Yes, of course. Honestly, other than that, it's a body. You link it off, make IP before you do anything. It's it's, it's okay. This card's cracked. Yes. So maybe making this before your normal summon is unreal. And like, if you don't play the Fiendsman stuff, like this plays, like this is enough. I think the Fiendsman stuff takes up too much extra deck space. And then this was just like, basically what it, it, it only took up two slots and it, it did what the Fiendsman did. Yeah, so exactly, right? yep. And then I played one IP, one Rabbit, one SP. Of course, yep. Uh, one Phoenix. And I've seen a lot more people on Phoenix lately. One Hito, one Dark. And then two princess. This came up a lot. Okay. A lot of times they would banish it, and then you would have no way of like have getting it back. And then uh, yeah, this, yeah. This card is just really yeah. Did you get uh, did you get unicorn any any of the games or? No, I didn't. Actually. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But if I did, I, uh, they wouldn't rip this, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that makes sense. The one anima, and then the axis. I mean the OTK line. Yes, of course. I don't know. We on this too? Yeah, it's the best OTK line. There. Yeah, like this this line is just it's, it's insane. It's uh, just so super cracked. Yeah. And it beats and it beats Tempai. Alright, let's see the extra deck spice. The extra deck we have the one talent. You mean side deck? Or, side or deck. sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, let's see the side deck spice. Sorry, <laughs> my, my one B. talent. And then I played three thrust. And then for my thrust targets, I played one D barrier and one DDG and Dustin. Okay, okay. So this was just basically for the mirror match, and this was for Tempai. And U Bell, I guess, but they didn't really come up. I didn't. I didn't play any U Bell today. I don't know if anyone really played a whole lot of U Bell. I don't think there's many U Bell players on. No, the deck. The deck kind of uh, kind of died once the Maxi came out. I think. Agreed. Agreed. And then the floodgates. Um, I played against a friend today. I flipped this on him during standby, and he yep. said five and pass, and I killed him. <laughs> it was, uh, I mean, hey, it's it's anti spell. It's kind of gross. And yeah, you guys can just turn that sh turn that stuff off with the uh, the D Bell Star. <laughs> yeah. And then we have the two Prelia. Yes, the fair one. This one's fair. I think this card existing is not terrible, honestly. No, that, one, that one's super fair. It's I think it's just a fire. Yeah, game. like it's really good. At, it's I think this is like you can play around this in most decks. Though. Like, yeah, really nice. you can play around this. It gets not. It's not terrible. But having this as a cross out target is not bad. I rarely ever sided in three. I, I I felt myself like I see myself siding two in more often than I did three. Um, most decks don't really lose to this. And then three cosmic because I hate floodgates. Yep. Absolutely, you gotta, you gotta be prepared for it. Yep. Gotta be prepared for it. Shout out to, uh, once again, shout out to Scuff, Shoebox, and Jesse, and Eric, he really helped me play test a lot too. Hell yeah, man. Congratulations again, Kevin, and yeah, we might even see you next time on the channel, my guy. Hopefully. Alrighty, man. Deuces.